Oh. <sighs> Tired. So, uh, I get back and it's fucking raining. And, uh, we just got done having a victory omelet while trying not to get COVID. And Steve says, let's go on a little hike. Mind you, we're, I'm wearing blue jeans and a hoodie. Yeah, we're going to Whiskey Island, and what was the name of this? Bear or something? Uh, Bear Creek, whatever. Bear Creek. Anyways, it's been raining all day, but we ain't letting that stop us. we got to have a little pain from and suffering from nature. Alex. Hold on. Fuck you, Alec. Fuck you, man. Alec. Alex yeah. is dead. We're trying to not get lost. Or wet. Well, I think... We're not leaving here without fucking hypothermia. I got a bottle of water though, so I might live an extra day. My jeans are already starting to soak up some water, so that's good. I got waterproof boots though, so... I don't know. We, this might have been a bad life choice, but I think what I need right now, honestly, is to get my ass kicked by nature a little bit. And some trees covered in moss. Yeah. Who can't? Who doesn't love some deadfall covered by moss in the distance? Come on. Yeah, I feel like this will make me appreciate life a little bit more today. <laughs> Biden sucks. Yeah. <laughs> you voted for Biden, right? Oh yeah. Oh wait. I saw. I saw how New York turned out. It's a stag bar hickory. <laughs> it's nut meat is sweet. It's got nut meat. It's got uh, nut meat. I wonder mm. if it, maybe that's the cure for COVID we've been looking for. Strong and flexible wood is used for tool handles, authentic goods, and agricultural implements. And it's nut meat is really good. Well, I have a funny feeling we're going to come across some Biden voters out here. I doubt that. Very much. Wow, well, there's probably people that died out here. Well, after they find out about the mountains, and then, and mountains. That's all it takes to get, you know, the ballot, you know. It's got to be dead. <laughs> and then your vote counts. It doesn't count while you're alive. So, I, I mistakenly told Steve about this 
tree here. <laughs> Thinking he'd be like, oh, it's wet. I can't go up there. It's dangerous. It is wet. It literally is over the water, too. So if you go down, not only are you going to you're gonna break four bones. Oh, bro, look how high the next step is. Yeah, but you're a ranger. I don't, yeah, but <laughs> Like, look at how close this, this one is to my knee. I bet you what some seven-year-old made this one more. And, and climbed all the way up it. <laughs> if that one wasn't so high, I would. But that's too much of a reach. Oh, you just disappointed the internet. Yeah. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not falling in the water when I'm over two miles away from the truck. But clicks, though. <laughs> hey, if I can go in the kayak and fucking land in the water. <laughs> Look at all the rest except for that one. That one is a waist high stretch. Now. Oh, I didn't say I could do it. I'm just do I'm it. just enjoying poking the bear right now. <laughs> hey, Pussy. Give <laughs> me mushrooms. Magic mushrooms to make me climb high. Without fear of falling in the water. Ah uh, shit. So we've reached the island. And by island I mean chunk of land surrounded by swamp. I've already went down. I fell. Much to trying, trying Steve's enjoyment. Skills. Yeah. Attempting ranger skills. Yeah, he was though. trying to teach me how to determine when, you know, you're off the trail with leaves. And as soon as he started the lesson, down I went. <laughs> to glorious laughter, of course. Oh yeah. But this is this was good. It stopped raining. Thank you, nature. Yeah. You're awesome. Now that I said that, we're fucked, but yeah. So I'm drying out a little bit. I'm still damp. But it was good. I, we found a good place, too. I highly recommend this one. Maybe not in the summer when mosquitoes are out, though. And shit. Look at that. First day out of the truck. And I'm already enjoying life. 50 grand a year is not worth giving this up. Just saying. And, and this didn't cost anything but gas. And Steve paid the gas, so we're good. <laughs> Are we, we lost? Probably left purple. Yeah, he was trying to tell me that I didn't know what I was talking about earlier. We were looking at the fucking map. He's like, dude, that's the wrong trail. I'm like, dude, it says purple, and that's a purple marker. It's two purple trails. And, and he spent the next 10 minutes trying to convince me that I was, well, he was gaslighting me <laughs> into admitting I was wrong. Okay, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay, warrior. We're still on Denise's trail. The fuck is <laughs> I'm the only, I'm already a casualty of Denise. She took me down. So, a place that you can work out outside that doesn't have orange fucking, you know, crime scene tape surrounding it. So, can you, one fucking pull up. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's all we get is one. That's all you get. Damn. That sounds Well, you know, you got a place you can work out. Yeah, two uh, miles in. Do some workout. <laughs> this is private. There's no way this is put here for... That's private. No, I mean, somebody put this here. Ooh, not... Look, Matt. I don't think the park put that there. It's a good thing there's a map because there's like five different ways to go. So earlier, we were there, and I said we needed to follow the purple trail. No. And he's like, no, motherfucker. Okay, no, hold on. Hold it's on, this no. trail here. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> okay, you see right here above my finger. No, stop. <laughs> right here above my finger, okay, where the purple and the yellow trail fucking mix, it goes up and then goes this way, okay? The you are here arrow touched the top of this up yeah. and said you are here. And the trail he wanted to go on went this way. 
And I'm like, well, what the fuck? And, and I just had to point out that right about here on the trail, you could physically, while you're standing looking at the map, see the purple thing. And then I made the connection. It says marked trails. Well, I think you're a dumbass. And it was purple. <laughs> it's purple. <laughs> Well, it's all right, man. That's why they put me in the Air Force. Just fucking saying. Wrong, <laughs> fucking wrong, man. Oh, shit. The long trail is actually shorter than the trail we went on. Yeah. Well, we took the longest possible because we went all but the way over the here. the long trail. Then we went around here. But and... this is the long trail that's shorter. Uh, yeah, we, so we, we did the... the huge... And I think we're about to walk around this perimeter. I think the Flintstone wheel wash would be cool but then we come back down the trolley tracks there we go it's not like pine pond where it brutalizes you at the end yeah. where oh, points of interest ruins of a gazebo all, the, that? all, we've the, seen, all the numbers we've seen i think we've seen that i stuff. think we've seen most of it 11 foundation ruins barn maybe so it means there's nothing really there that's well, right near here yeah 10 is what the fuck is 10 oh 10's way back here okay ruins of a log cabin 7 abandoned farm field abandoned farm field <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking field I don't get it and no one's farming it the anymore ruins, there's no more people they've drawn dicks on it the now. ruins of an abandoned farm field is what it's a people, pasture no people draw dicks on the grass oh my god and, you know, and they hang Biden signs. That really breaks my heart. <laughs> that fucking breaks my heart. That, that is what... Are we taking the long path? I kind of want to see the abandoned farm field, bro. Be totally honest with you. Where is it? Way over here. Just to say I saw so, an abandoned farm field. So it's... No, I don't even... This isn't even a... It's right there. It's, yeah, but it doesn't have... This isn't a colored trail here. I need to see it. I need well, to see it. Well, then you're going to have to navigate to it, because no, I don't know how to get there. I don't want to. What's eight? Because you don't want me to fucking... Look at that. <laughs> ...to give you shit. <laughs> Eight. Giant Without there being an actual marker or notification there, I was like, holy fuck. Something Scott didn't fucking film is we found this tree in the middle of nowhere that's literally as wide as 10 to 15 of regular trees. Like, it's so yeah. astoundingly huge, he fucked you by not videoing. Yeah. It uh, can't work. I just came off the road. And here it is. Like I said. I didn't even want to film today. <laughs> the giant red oak tree. And it is a giant massive tree end yeah. with legs. So which way are we going, sir? The fucking Flintstone. The fucking wheel. Flintstone. Oh, fucking... I want to see the Flintstone. So I'm told I should turn my camera on for this one. It's not it's itchy green shit, only it's not green. Mind you, we are at least two and a half miles from a parking area. Somebody took the time to carry in these three sticks, this thing, and a sapling. It's a tree. Exactly. Someone planted this tree in the middle of here. Why? It, there's no lack of trees. Um, and it's odd. They're saving the planet. Maybe. Maybe this is like one of those like... This is you one know, of them super you, trees that's going to make the fucking global warming stop. Maybe, but maybe it's one of them trees. I'm trying to think, but maybe it's one of those trees that, like, people, like, plant for, as, like, a memorial. Like, you know, they get their ashes mixed with the thing. I mean, it's a pretty big area stamped down here. Exactly. Well, it's like a crop I mean. circle. They came in, they fucking, you know, they cut it up, and they fucking, off the beaten path, planted a tree. And protected it. So what's buried here? I don't know. A tree. Like, it's a sapling of something. You can see it. How many missing people are there in the Onondaga County? It's odd. Don't say it's not odd. <laughs> oh, I'm, you, you forget everyone calls me I'm a conspiracy theorist. i got to start acting like one. We're not even on the trip. The fucking, the aliens planted it. Like, this is the trip. There's a ship underneath it. <laughs> Trees everywhere. But they planted that there, miles from the road. Like, it, maybe it was a spot a family member liked to hike. I don't know. Maybe they spread someone's ashes and then planted a tree. That's what I'm saying. Or, like, you know, they have those uh, things where your ashes, like, you know, your ashes can be put into, the into like, a little sapling thing and bury it. And there was that joke of the memes going on, oh, that's how you have haunted forests, blah, 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 blah. But it's, like, something nice to do with your remains. And I wonder, I wonder if that's it. 
We'll never know unless we get out yeah. some shovels. Does that trail say out? <laughs> yeah. That's the out trail. All right. We, we're on the right path. We're not lost. Well, I didn't die on the hike. Um, it was it was good. It was really good to get out there again and to hang out with Steve. And, and um, uh, it's like after a couple of weeks of literally being in that box nonstop and not really leaving it, um, it's just what I needed. Um, and you know, previously before I went back out on the road, it was just what I needed as well. However. Cuomo will not be denied. See, on my way here, he declared on a dog county he was going to do this zone thing, right? You know, where okay, there's an outbreak here, we'll make that a zone, and in the zones like orange, yellow, you know, we were going to be a yellow zone, which meant you had to close bars at midnight and restaurants at midnight, no gatherings, personal gatherings over twenty five. And, you know, all of this. Well, today, right after we got done with the hike, we found out, hey, New York State is pretty much an orange zone now. The entire state, mind you, none of this zone here, zone there. The entire state of New York. <sighs> Which makes no sense. Yeah, how are you going to change the rules? How are you going to fucking turn things around and and do this stupid shit. I mean, so now the, here's here's our new rules. Bars and restaurants will close at 10 p.m. No gatherings in your home. This is verbatim, by the way. No gatherings in your home of more than 10 people. How in the fuck is this constitutional? How are we allowing this? How are we just like taking it and taking it? I don't get it. You know, I feel a little better that I got out in the woods. And I, I know personally I'm, I'm probably not going to comply. I can't confirm or deny that on here. Um, I know a lot of other people that aren't going to comply with this. You're, we're coming up on Thanksgiving. You know, what about Black Friday? Is, is that a thing? You know, are you going to stop all those fucking people from beating the shit out of each other for a fucking Xbox? Is, is that, I don't hear that. What about protests? What about all the, the Biden supporter fucking parties that you had in New York City? Is, is that, it looked like a hell of a lot more than 25 people in New York City had these zones. But now, the entire state apparently is going to have this lockdown. This is according to Syracuse.com, which is our local newspaper. Way bias left, by the way. Um, and this was, of course, after catching snippets of mainstream media throughout the day. I wasn't going to trigger myself today, and I did the best I could to not get triggered. <laughs> but I, it's unavoidable. Like, literally, I went to have an omelet in the, in the diner with Steve, and, and they had the news playing. And they were evaluating the election, which I'm not happy with, as many of you know, but that's about where I got to leave it, because if I do anything else on here, I'm going to get a fucking warning. The censorship is out of control, and I'm going to address that in the next video, because I have a whole announcement to make. Uh, I've got a few things to talk about. Um, don't panic, I haven't left YouTube yet, and I haven't been banned yet, but who knows when either one of those events are going to happen. Um, I got to tell you, the moment I find a, a platform that's competitive with enough eyeballs, I'm out on YouTube. I'm sorry. So get your shit together, Google. Stop this shit. Stop the censorship. Stop with the little fucking fact check shit. We know you didn't fact check shit. You didn't, YouTube. Sorry to call you out, but all you did was listen to fucking CNN and then post a fucking thing on there and say that you fact checked. You didn't fact check shit. Let's get the fucking individual investigators out there. Because I know way more than you do. And then you're fact, check fact checkers. And I actually, maybe you're not. Maybe you know what you're doing and you're just trying to suppress the other side. I don't know. Either one's a possibility. Which one do y'all think it is? But, you know, I'm just... 
there's going to be a lot of ammo for the new podcast. You know, I'm in pre-production on it. Right now I'm going to be working on graphics. I, sh I hope to roll the podcast out on Odyssey uh, by next week. Um, maybe Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, somewhere in there. And, you know, hopefully we can shed some light on this or maybe open some eyeballs. Um, for those of you, um, I'm about to make an announcement on YouTube in a day or two. Uh, but for those of you who have subscribed to my free email list, I will be sending you an email tomorrow, uh, letting you know that there's a new way you can get some additional content from me. Um, I have signed up for a new platform. I think one of you already found me on it. And I will be announcing that platform via the email directly. And I will be continuing to do things to incentivize you to subscribe to my email list. Because at the end of the day, I own the website. I can keep in touch with you that way. For now. Until they figure out how to fuck that up for everybody. Um... You know, the media thinks they're all sly right now, and so does social media and these tech giants. They think that they've silenced us, but I can tell you as someone who has done his homework on the election that there is a whole nother side to this that regular Joe Normie isn't seeing. And I, I'm not here to Google for you. If you really truly care to know what's happening with our democracy... You need to hear both sides of the argument going forward, because it will affect you. If all you do is just listen to the mainstream media, fucking sit here and tell you what to think and what to believe and what not to listen to and what, you know, because they're protecting you from fucking thought. They're, they don't want you to think something or have an opinion or be, you know, you're, you no longer have the freedom to think the way you want. It's unacceptable now. You know, it's unacceptable to be a Trump supporter. Last I checked, we were supposed to be a country of tolerance where people with different belief structures had their vote. And, and then all of a sudden you were, you know, you lived together in, in you know, semi-harmony. That was some fucking hippie shit. I, I, don't, I don't know. I've... I've some might, some have called me a hippie in the in the past, but I got too much technology for that. Um, it's it's a slippery slope we're on, people, uh, and I'm going to continue to rail against it. So if you don't like that, I, you know, I'm sorry. I'm going to continue to talk shit. It's foremost on my mind. I'm not the kind of person that can shut his mouth about something when I'm outraged, and I am outraged about this. Um, and I'm going to do everything in my power to point out the hypocrisy and the failures of the media and social media and tech giants. Uh, any, anytime I can find anything, you know, and I might occasionally come across fake news or say something that I saw and be like, the, and there might be a legit debunking of that. I'll take that error rate any day over intentional manipulation from authoritative sources. It's not on my list of shit to do. I have a better chance of getting it right listening to fucking conspiracy theorists than I do fucking listening to your fucking, the, the news anchor that cuts off the fucking president sec, uh, the president's uh, press secretary in the middle of a fucking statement that's pertaining to our election. Yeah, that's great. Let's just, that, that doesn't look bad at all. That doesn't create a bunch of paranoid motherfuckers at all. I am sure all of your little warning labels that you put all over the president's tweets uh, and all over fucking YouTube and all over Facebook, I'm sure that doesn't paranoid the fuck out of everybody. I'm sure that makes us all trust you. We're all just going to fucking sit here and say, oh, they, they just, I, I was listening to this guy and he made a lot of sense and he presented very strong evidence. But there's a warning underneath that says the exact opposite, and I shouldn't believe this person. Are you fucking stupid, tech giants? All that does is make us look deeper. You aren't the only ones on the internet, motherfucker. There's plenty of places to go. And if you're lazy, and you don't fucking do your homework, and you don't get out there, 
and explore other platforms, hear other voices, you're part of the problem, all right? If all you do is let them spoon feed you the facts and what you're supposed to believe, you're part of the problem, you know? And I even see people right now reacting to Cuomo's lockdown and they're just like, they're pretty much being cucked by him, you know? He's destroying businesses, he's destroying lives, he's removing your freedom, he's telling you who you can and can't have in your home, and yet you're rah-rah Biden, who's going to do it on a national scale. I'm sorry, I'm done feeling sorry for you. If you vote a certain way, and you vote for this shit, I'm done feeling sorry for it. Enjoy your fear. Enjoy your masks. Enjoy waiting on your check from the government, which will barely cover any bills that you have at all. I hope you got enough of a savings and emergency fund to weather the storm, but I can't help you if you're just going to close your eyes and keep bending over and taking it, New York. Stop it. And if we all fucking stopped obeying this shit, he couldn't enforce it. If we all stood up, he can't find us all. He might get one or two of us, but sometimes you got to be the first up the hill. You got to be the first over the ridge if you're going to fucking fight the battle. If you're just going to cuck and, and be afraid because he might find you or destroy your business. I'm sorry. That's you. That's on you. You know, I've seen plenty of businesses across this country stand up and say no. They were fined, they were demonized in the media, they were fucking boarded up, they had their electricity shut off, they had their water shut off. This all happened in California, by the way, and we're not probably far behind something like that happening. But they're fighting. And sooner or later, if enough people fight, Cuomo would have to back down. Can't take us all on. But unfortunately, that's not the mindset that I find uh, a lot of people here in New York. Um, there is a group of us that are like that here in New York, but we ain't running shit. We're, in, we're kind of in the minority here. You know, most people are just like, oh, Cuomo's doing this for our own good. That somebody died yesterday who was 70. So that doesn't happen every fucking day. We had 24 deaths in New York State last week. Four deaths here in Onondaga County, all elderly. Only one did they say was COVID only, but I beg to differ. Maybe they had an undiagnosed, you know, thing. And, and, and that's the other thing, and the, the, these intubating people. They're still intubating people. Even though we've got other treatments and they seem to be working, we're still putting people on vents, which have an 80% mortality rate. And they know it. He has said it. I can go back into the Cuomo tapes. And if you really want to, you feel free to go watch all of that shit if you haven't. Um, and he, Cuomo himself said that 80% of people who go on a ventilator never come off a ventilator. And what do you think happens when you put somebody over the age of 65 on a ventilator? What do you think happens? I don't care if you're a healthy 65 year, 70 year old, and they vent you 80% of the time, that's going to be the last thing that happens to you. And then they'll label it a COVID death. Welcome to 1984. So, look, to recap, no longer have the freedom to gather, no longer have the freedom of speech. No longer does your vote count unless you vote a certain way. Uh, no longer can you start a business and succeed. No longer can you walk around on the street without having to cover your face. What's left, people? We're running low on freedoms. You want to know what's the next one is? They're already setting you up for it. And you're sitting there and you're like, yeah, hey, yeah, I'm ready. Take it. The vaccine is just around the corner, people. Are you ready to test out a vaccine that was rushed? I probably am not standing in line for that. Just saying. 
Oh, and uh, you no longer can do things without getting mandatory testing in a lot of places. So, you know, you want to get on a plane, guess what? They're going to jam a fucking cotton swab up into your fucking left lobe of your brain. Yeah. Welcome to New York. So glad I came off the road. I am, though. I was struggling, um, but this is reinforcing it. I am not going to bust my ass in corporate America, you know, working for the man 70 hours a week and have this be what I come home to. No, not this motherfucker. I don't care how poor or how destitute I get, which I'm not going to, by the way. I've got the skills I need. I've got support from family and friends. I'm going to be just fine. And I'm not raising taxes for you, Cuomo. Sorry. I'll be broke. I'll be one. You'll probably have me labeled as unemployed. Because I'm not going to make much money. Certainly not enough for you to make any meaningful taxes off my ass. In fact, I might even fucking sign up for some shit or you pay me, motherfucker. And by that, I don't mean social programs. I mean VA benefits. Because I think you owe me. I think I need to be compensated for the service I gave to this country as you take away my fucking freedoms that I spent 10 years of my life defending. This comes to you on Veterans Day. You want to give us a free cup of coffee and then send us home before 10 p.m. and tell us we can't have our friends over for Thanksgiving. Fuck you, Cuomo, and anybody. Biden, fuck you. You know, Kamala Harris, fuck you. Every Democrat in the House. And, you know, they don't have much in the Senate, but... You know, I'm tired of it. All you Democrat governors that with the corrupt states, all the states that had problems, look at that. All swing states, notice that. All the other states were fine. They had their shit done on time, no problem. Had the same mail-in voting system in some places. You know, just saying. I ain't going back to work. My strike is going to last a hell of a lot longer than this month as far as trucking is concerned. I'm not going to do Uber. I'm not going to do any of the fucking gig economy for the billionaires until they stop taking away our freedoms. And if that means I'm broke and poor and can't do shit and, you know, maybe YouTube takes me out. That's the only corporate overlord that has anything fucking that I have any stake in right now. But you see what I'm doing there. I'm promoting other fucking sites. I'm putting exclusive content on Odyssey. I'm trying to... Drag, drag some people kicking and screaming off of the censorship-laden fucking tech giants. And I'm going to continue to do that until they stop me. And then when they do, I hope some of you who are watching this right now, who are looking to be entertained and won't leave YouTube because it's too convenient, or you're afraid to learn a new tech, or you know maybe you're not good at it, Watch a tutorial, motherfucker, because it's time. It's time. You know? But I'll get into that in the next video because I want to make that announcement. But in the meantime, tomorrow, I will be emailing you. If you're on my if you're not on me, eat my free email list on scottthetruckdriver.com, please head over there. If you like my shit and you want me to make more shit, which will be a mix of adventure and, and just vlogging like I am right now. This was a vlog today, but I did get a little topical here and there. Um, but if you like it, please hit like, subscribe, hit the bell, go follow me on Odyssey, head to scottthetruckdriver.com and sign up for my free email list so I can communicate with you no matter what happens, unless they take over email next. You know, What if they tell you that you might get COVID if you email more than five people at a time? It's about how fucking smart all of these little rules that they keep making that make no sense, by the way. I can still go to Walmart. I can go to the restaurant during the day. Apparently, COVID's like a fucking vampire disease that after dark, you can't, you'll get it, you know? No, he wants to demoralize us. He wants to remove our ability to work. He wants to destroy small businesses. He isn't saving a single life. He's been doing this shit this whole time, and we're still got the virus. If it hasn't stopped the spread, we flattened the curb the first fucking month in. And then we watched that curve plummet. 
You know, he'd start all of his briefings with that curve, flat as fuck, death rate, obscenely low, and he'd even brag about it. And then he'd say, but we can't go back to where we were, so we're going to lock down harder. And now that the media is drumming up all the fear, as the virus continues to spread, as it will, make no mistake, it was never about stopping the virus. I hear so many people, oh, you got to stop the virus so we can have our freedom again. Sorry, you're not stopping the virus. It's endemic. It's here to stay. It is too contagious to not become endemic. What, you know, and for those of you who have to look up endemic right now, it's straight up part of our, it'll be like the flu. It'll be like the common cold. This is here to stay, people. We got to live with it. That's it. And living with it, how do you want to live with it? Do you want to live your life and have your freedom? Or do you want to lock yourself in your house with a mask and get shit delivered to your door and work remotely from home if that's even possible for you? Or take handouts from the government until we inflate our fucking prices to the point where that doesn't do anything but leave you as poor as I am. So, for those of you who aren't broke... If you like my shit and you want me to make more shit, please consider heading to scotttruckdriver.com and leaving a tip in the virtual tip jar. If you're watching this on Odyssey, I do love LBC tips as well. They help out. Or you don't even have to tip me. You can just throw some support, which boosts me in the you know searches and algorithms and stuff and that does help as well. And you don't doesn't really cost you anything, you know. I I do that for my own videos as well but the more the more you're boosted through support and i'll do another update video to explain this from some of the to some of the new folks on that platform um of which my platform has been growing there um that helps as well and i can take a paycheck from there if i need to i don't cash out very often i wait till the top markets on the top end and then maybe i'll take a profit but for the most part i'm using it to boost my exposure because i want to grow you know I'm, i invest most of my lbc in the platform to grow um and i put a hundred bucks worth in and right now i'm almost to two hundred dollars worth and that's you know just from growth view rewards rewards for being a youtuber it's a really if you're a content creator it's a no-brainer to put your shit on odyssey you should totally do it um, and if you're consuming content, you're doing it ad-free over there. That's your incentive. No ads, no mid-rolls, none of that shit. You can just go over there and watch. And if you're a registered user, the creators you watch get a small chunk of LBC, up to 10 of your views, because they don't want you to abuse it, will go to the creators. And then you can even tip on top of that. If you, And you get rewards too. You get LBC for watching a certain amount of videos and meeting their little goals on there. It's really a nice system to keep us, to reward your creators financially, you know, which could, they do pay more per thousand views than YouTube does. So it's just a matter of getting enough people to watch you on there. Um, I don't think, the creators are, have kind of not done a solid to Odyssey. They're all about BitChute. BitChute's just traditional, send me, you know, my PayPal link. That's it. You can go to my website for that. Um, so there hasn't been a lot of incentive for me to go to BitChute. I would go there. There's a lot of eyeballs there, and I am evaluating it again. But uh, right now, it's, you know, as far as searches go, and I'm going to look really heavily into start, you know, spinning up my, my BitChute account at some point. But I am researching other platforms, particularly streaming platforms. Um, I haven't 100% given up. I know I said that I'm not probably going to stream on DLive, but I might do a few tests over there just to see. I mean, if I do it and you guys like it and you show up over there, let me know in the comments below. Are you? Should I give DLive another chance so that I can have a place where I'm not censored for my you know speech? I mean, there's other censorship that can happen on DLive. But uh, if I can go over there and, and speak my mind without worrying about getting hit with the Susan Hammer... Um, you know, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, in, in the meantime, the podcast, I will be pulling from these comments in my videos and from comments on Odyssey, Odyssey first, of course, um, uh, in terms of interacting with you. And so if there's a chance, if you do a good comment on something and I like it and I want to interact, uh, um, I will probably pull you your comment for the video and, and talk about whatever it is you said and respond to it 
in the video. You know, I'll still do the occasional response. It's hard to keep up with all the responses. I could make a full-time job out of answering emails and comments. So don't get butt hurt if I can't answer you. I try and put little hearts on the ones that I read. Um, and unless I don't like it, if I don't like what you had to say, I probably won't throw the little heart there. So, you know, that's it. That's not, you know, I'm not here to fucking ban anybody that didn't, you know, unless you're spamming or doing harassing shit. Um, same goes for live stream. That's the only way I really fuck with people in the live stream. Okay, if you insult me once, okay, I'm like, oh, you got me there, you know, twice, you know, but if you start like one after the other and arguing and pounding away and being toxic, I, you know, that's going to annoy other people in this stream and they're going to want you out. Um, so you might get muted in that situation. Or if you break the community guidelines, you will be shut out from the, the live streams. It's not be, it's Susan, you know, I got to keep Susan happy on that. And she's looking at comments now, you know, consequently today, I don't know if it was a bug but I wanted to comment on a few th videos today, and for some reason, the app on my phone, I couldn't click the comment section. So I'm a little worried about that. Maybe it's just a glitch on my phone or something, or the app, um, but we'll see. But what the fuck do I know? You know, it was fun getting out in the woods. I hope you enjoyed that little adventure, and uh, yeah, have a nice motherfucking day and shit. We'll get back to the little room videos. It's fun. It's great. I look forward to it. I'm going to try and, and keep, you know, we're on a good, uh, we're doing good, by the way. I'm going to try and pump out videos a little bit more as we're in a, the upswing on the channel. I'm, my views are up about over 100%. Um, and it's ever since I started talking about this triggering shit that we're in. So imagine that. So, uh, you know, while I always kind of worried that I was going to piss some of my longtime subscribers off, you know, at the same time, the channel's doing better than ever. You know, I'm actually, you know, I saw a dip in subscribers followed by a big spike in growth. Um, so we're doing good. And the ad revenue's rolling in from that. So, and it's mainly probably the... Uh, biden team that's that's paying my fucking bills but hey i'll take your money and then talk shit about you that doesn't bother me that much you know i've been doing that for fucking corporate america for years you know food companies have been advertising on my shit vegans have advertised on my shit and then they make a video talking shit about something you know i'm fine with it i don't i don't fucking cry at all for that you know i do cry a little bit that i raise money for susan you know so that's if you want to avoid that, if that's morally wrong for you, I do know that if Susan isn't making money off my channel, she's less likely to fucking support me being on here. Not that she's looking at my little ass, but the algorithms are, and they have little things in there that probably say, well, this isn't a profitable channel, we're not going to promote them. So maybe that's it. Maybe me getting into current events and being triggered is the path of growth for the channel. It's, you know, it's toxic as fuck. It's, it could be a dent in the community as more and more people. See, the bigger you get, the more people, negative people, come into your shit. Um, it hasn't really happened here. I've had people leave one-off comments and fuck off. But, you know, if people think that you're reaching a bunch of people and you're not agreeing with them, they're going to they're gonna come and fuck with you. So, who knows? I'm ready to weather that storm, too, when that happens. So, is what it is. Have a nice motherfucking day. I said it once. I'm saying it twice. Have a nice motherfucking day and shit. Now I'm going to go to a gathering. Yep, and that gathering's going to have more than 10 people, Cuomo. I'm not going to tell you where it is. Good luck. Good luck enforcing that. Are you going to come into our homes and count heads? Is that it? Are you going to send the contact tracers in to enforce this because the liquor authority has no authority in our homes? Good luck with that, Cuomo. You're a bat in a beehive. You really are. Fucking. Fuck Cuomo. Fucking right up his fucking shitty fuck.